Welcome back to another fearless episode of Bermuda Grass Central. Guys, in this video, I'm going to answer that simple question because here we are, uh, September going to October, and some of you guys are asking me, BYD, why does my Bermuda grass turn brown after I cut it? Stay tuned. Okay guys, some of you just got through cutting your Bermuda grass and it looks like that. You can see how it looks scalp, all this and that. Now this particular yard is mine. It was a hard reset. I did it late, but it's coming back green. But some of you guys are cutting it and you're not taking off that much and it looks like that. Okay guys, Bermuda grass has a certain characteristic about it. Bermuda grass is a warm season grass. It's not cool season, it's not fescue. It's not St. Augustine, which is warm season, centipede, warm season, none of that stuff, but it acts totally different. Now, technically, Bermuda grass is a weed. If you don't believe me, click on this video up there and I'll show you why I say that. But in the meanwhile, did you know Bermuda grass should be cut between one and three inches for the average homeowner? If you're a real mowing, you can go lower than that. Lower than one inch, all the way down to the white meat just about, but your yard will have to be leveled in order for you to achieve that perfect green that you're looking for or that golf course looking lawn. Now, in this video, guys, it's gonna be real simple. It's, it's, you probably got an idea, but some of you don't. Matter of fact, let me just show you on my own lawn. All right, guys, if you look closely, this part back here is three inches. All right, this part down here is an inch lower. A lot of you guys are wondering why is this much greener than this taller grass. If you look closer guys, I'm gonna pull back a little bit, let you see. When you allow your Bermuda grass, I'm gonna get you closer. When you allow your Bermuda grass to get tall, like you see right here, I want you to look closer. The bottom portion of it will turn brown. You don't normally have Bermuda grass from stem to tip all the way green. Normally the top third of the Bermuda grass blade per se is green. The rest of it is brown. The reason you're getting this is it's, it's like you're shading out the bottom. All right, I'm gonna split it open so you can see it even better. When you shade out the bottom, the bottom of the Bermuda grass turns brown. Your tips are green. Now, if you look at this, this lawn was scalped about a month ago to 1.5 inches and I kept it at 1.5 inches then I allowed it to get to right at two inches and you see how much greener it is the reason it's like that because there's less grass shading out the bottom of it now if you if I separate that you'll still see it brown down there at the bottom but when you scalp it and you keep it low you allow that sunlight you allow that rain, you allow that airflow to get into the soil and it'll stay greener longer, Bermuda grass, as long as you keep it cut low. You can see, clearly see the difference in these grasses, whereas that's three inches, that's cut right at two inches. Another thing is when you have your Bermuda grass that high and you step on it, you create that right there. All those legs, this grass start to lay flat. When it's low like that and you step on it, you won't get this effect. All right, guys, if you look closely, you look at this side of the lawn over, this grass is three inches tall. If you look at this side over here, this side is two inches tall. All right, now you see how much greener this side is versus that side. Now for full disclosure, this is common Bermuda. Common Bermuda should not look as good as hybrid Bermuda. But we're going into the late season. Some of you guys' yards are starting to turn brown after the cut, and you want to know why. It's real simple. Let me show you. Now, some of you will say, guys, let me get, I got to put this in here, guys. Guys, if this video has been informational and you learned something, please, please, for my ego, I'm begging you. <laughs> Hit that subscription button, ring that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. That's gonna be some guys that say, no, that's just because you got common and you got um, hybrid. Guys, let me show you why I scalped my hybrid 
uh, maybe about a month ago, same time. And all this is just test plots, guys. That's hybrid. I'm gonna stand still so hopefully I can trace this. But you see that patch right there? That patch is hybrid grass that's starting to catch up. But look how much deeper green that is versus the three inch tall grass that was left at three inches that kept getting cut at three inches because I allowed those the bottom to get tall and it, that part is green, the rest of it on down starts to turn brown. I'll give you an example. Look at these trees right here. I use this pine tree, prime example. It's all green up the top, but everything up on the bottom starts to get shaded out and you don't normally have growth on it. That's the characteristic of that pine tree. It's the same with your Bermuda grass. Taller grass and you, you're taking a lot off, you're gonna get brown, but come closer to it what it is now, the fall, you'll start seeing it get brown ner quicker. So it's advantageous for you to keep your Bermuda grass cut lower at all times throughout the season and don't let it keep getting taller, 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 taller. So yesterday my neighbor's yard was jet green. He cut it last um, last night and you can see it's a shade bit darker. Mine is this color right here because I did do a hard reset. I'm hoping I can get it back. It's coming back green, but it's coming back slow. So guys, hopefully that explained to you why your Bermuda grass is starting to turn brown when you cut it. Um, it could be other things too, guys. It could be lack of water. You're not watering it. Um, it needs to be fertilized. But if your yard is thick, green, and healthy, and you go cut it, and it turns brown, more than likely you're, you're in transition or you're taking off more than a third. Or it's just that time of the season when you cut tall Bermuda grass a little bit lower, it's going to turn brown. That's why I suggest you keep it low as possible without tearing up the ground all season long. Guys, you're tuned to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Mike Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.